This is why I say love hate relationship with free agency because I think it's overhyped. Um, people went all overboard about oh my gosh, Derrick Henry is playing with Lamar Jackson. Oh my gosh. It's about to be amazing. Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, super dual threat that they have going on over there. Like, I get the hype about it, but Derrick Henry, he's been aging. And as far as the Baltimore Ravens, I don't know what more they can improve in in terms of the run game because they were number one in rushing uh, in a rushing offense all last season. They had the number one rushing offense in the NFL. Derrick Henry was number two in rushing yards with the Tennessee Titans with a bad offensive line. And then now he's going to play with the Ravens, which is cool. And I get why that's hype. But if, if you if you can't capitalize in the playoffs with the number one rushing offense and you completely neglected that come playoffs, it's no reason for me to feel like, all right, now that they got Derrick Henry, a guy who's good at running the ball. They're going to still be number one uh, offense and they'll get it done this time, especially when they lost so many different defensive pieces. This is where it gets critical for the Baltimore Ravens, because although they did land this Derrick Henry trade, man, it's critical that they lost everybody on the defensive end, bro. They lost Patrick Queen. They lost Geno Stone. They lost about to lose Javion Clowney, uh, lost Cal Van Noy. Like, they're losing a lot of guys to free agency right now on defense, and then nothing is being done about it. You're not seeing guys guys being replaced on the defensive end so although this offense is beautiful and it looks amazing and the talent is there of who they have and all of that I don't see it thriving because they don't have guys on that defensive end that helped them a lot last season last season there was games that the defense won solely by themselves the Ravens offense didn't always carry every single game week after week. The defense held it down. When you look at what they did in the postseason, the defense held it down. They're the main reason the Ravens was even able to advance and go play the Kansas City Chiefs and even hung in the game when they played against the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the Ravens have missed their, their Super Bowl window last year. That was their time to win the Super Bowl. And they completely blew it. They, they choked and they blew it. That was their Super Bowl window. They had the perfect defense. They had the perfect offense. And they just completely neglected what was getting them wins all season. So to me right now, based on what I've seen last year and, and the, age, the, uh, the guys they lost on the defensive end, I don't see them going back to the Super Bowl next year or anytime soon until they can prove that we got some heat on the defense and we got some guys who can really continue to cook up on a defensive end. Other than that, I'd be shocked, especially when they got a new offensive coordinator. So now the offense might look even different than what we seen last year during times it was rolling and times it was looking amazing. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, as far as, like, free agency, this is probably their best pickup that they had. But, again, it's overhyped simply because Derrick Henry, he is a great running back. But, ultimately, this is not the area that the, the, the Ravens needed help in. They didn't need help in the run game area. This, this does nothing in, in retrospect because they were already somewhat decent in this area. That The place they need help is bringing in guys on the defensive end and, and getting some more pieces to help out there. So, I don't know. Other than that, man, um, the Ravens, it's going to be interesting to see what they do this next year. Um, and don't get too hype off of names. But maybe you agree. Maybe you disagree. Shoot me a call. Let me know. 219-413-9405.